2018 has flown right past and we're now on 2019. Crikey, hasn't the year gone quick? We started with somewhat bad, ended up with somewhat good with having Sean back and then ending on quite a low note with my money troubles and such like that. So this video is to celebrate 2019 but also to give you a top five. Now last year I didn't do a top five because my year wasn't that good at all. But this year I feel it's been tolerable enough so this year I'm going to give you five of my favorites of 2018 and then we're going to show you the best laugh of all time from 2018 and then we'll say happy new year. So let's start the countdown from number five. Number five is free time Tris Hunger Breaks the Big Barbecue. Hello everyone. The judges free time here. Coming at your ears. <laughs> I heard that from a Peter K thing. That's pretty funny. Feeling a bit depressed, so I thought, I don't know, let's do a video on Hunger Breaks, the big barbecue. According to this, it's got baked beans, barbecue pork, steaklet. Mm, sure. Um, barbecue pork, sausages, barbecue. I guess it's barbecue themed. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Sloppy slop slop. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. I've tried them all except for this one, I believe. But I'm sure it's going to taste exactly the same. Mess and no barbecue sauce. Or barbecue flavour. Anyway, I thought I'd let you know that a couple of things have changed since, you know, microwaving the hunger breaks last time. You probably saw me with a, a one of those a thingy containers and all that. But uh, since then, a lot of things have advanced. Uh, but also, since the last video, I used a microwave for baked beans or whatever uh, for my try series i um i used a um normal container well i got these thanks to charlie fleming on youtube because he showed me one of these from uh, pound world now i don't have a pound world but i do have a pound land and i didn't even get it from pound land i got this online and it's really good you put your stuff in there put the lid on brilliant it gets on with it now i do have two of them right here so you know just to make my life a little easier. I've got two of the units. Um, also, because I hate can openers, I threw my old one away and I decided to get one of these automatic bad boys. And the way they work, you see it on the top, you press the button, off it goes. I'm gonna show you that in action as well. Anyway, it has nutritional information. It really has no nutritional value, so whatever. Uh, store it in a cool, dry place like the bin. You can put it on the knob, I mean the hob, for five minutes. But you can also shove it in your microwave for three. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with this because I'm dreading this already. And it says serving suggestion, which is funny, on a fucking plate. Anyway, <sighs> do not panic, folks. After this, I'm getting some alcohol down me because I've had a really, really, really shit day. And after this, I am definitely getting alcohol. Anyway, let's get this joy here and this thing right here open this out ready for it and uh let's give this automatic can opener a go i know what it's like it's really good um this was very expensive by the way and jm smell does the same thing i mean jml sorry i mean jml is all right so i don't know why i say jm smell but sometimes they're overpriced anyway let's get this stupid can opener open even not open done And there we go. Oh, didn't that look appetizing? He lied. And uh, yeah. And uh, let's put that here so you can see the lovely joy getting microwaved. And uh, Let's go.
get it while it's shite. Mmm, yummy. Ugh. I definitely need alcohol after this. So here we go. Yeah, you can see that, that's good. Um, yeah, it made a lot of banging noises. I'm guessing it had a gag reflex or something. Anyway, we know what this sausage is, oh God, it went around through the fork. Um, we know what this is gonna taste like. So, uh, bombs up. Nope, no barbecue on that at all. Apparently it had barbecue on it. And now for the steak, or whatever it is. I guess it's supposed to be a steak. Could be horse for all we know. Oh, let's have a try that. Ah, hot. Quite similar to the taste of the um, Hunger Breaks All Day Breakfast, this. No real nutritional value, as I said earlier on. Let's try this other bit. Don't even know what this is. <clears throat> whatever it is, it's not very good for the throat. Not much of a texture change. Feels like I'm eating the same shit in one go. Whatever this is, let's eat this. We won't have a chance to do this for a while, but that's probably a good thing. Okay, let's give this a go. Mm. Mm. Near the same texture again. So yeah, this is all the damn same. Let's try the damn beans. Hopefully there's some barbecue flavor value with this, but I doubt there is any at all because they're very cheap. And this wasn't. Beans taste as cheap as the uh, all day breakfast. So it's all the same as before, really. Welcome home, <laughs> hunger breaks. So yeah, this stuff I have to say is the worst of them all. Um, at least with the round bacon thing you had some form of texture change, but there's nothing in this. This is the worst one I think out of all of them. Um, and I've had the stupid full Monty. It doesn't feel like I'm eating beef. It feels like I'm eating shoes, which is not a good sign. But anyway, I've got to eat this damn thing because I'm on a budget and I have to eat all this shit. So thank you very much for watching guys. Have you tried this? What do you think to it? Number four, Judge's free time tries pork floss. Hello everybody, this is Judge's free time here. This video inspired me by a one user on YouTube called Ashens that did something called pork floss. Now when you think of floss, you think of your teeth, I'm sure, but not going to this. Also, I do apologise about the mess here. It looks slobby, I know, but um, I'm cleaning this on Monday. I'm just, just got paid, as you can tell, and, you know, I just want to get some videos going and I just couldn't be bothered to clean until Monday. And um, why not? I mean, I could do it Monday. <sighs> anyway, nothing to do with the video. Um, I should tell that pork floss. Now I like the look of this, so Ashens don't let me down here. I might hate you after this. I don't know. Um, so apparently, I don't know if it's in China or Japan or whatever this is from, but they love investing money, or even better, just experimenting with their ingredients. Apparently, it's not going out of date or anything, so that's good. And Chef Advance is, is, is pretty fucking funny. Right, let me just point forward. I do like seaweed. I do like the seafoods. And this one is a meat flavour, I believe. It doesn't say anything about it, but it does have that. But it does have pork floss 60 gram new on it. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Now, the reason why I mentioned this is because in the last shot, I noticed with the wide angle lens on this, how much you saw <laughs> in the Friday tag video. Sorry, I didn't realise you could see all that. I didn't even know you could see me. I wasn't too sure I would have gone. Anyway, I've opened it. It has one of those Ziploc things, just in case you want only a tiny bit at a time. I can see why, if this is terrible. Right, let's give this a go. First time trying pork floss. There is also one called fish floss, but I am not going to go with that hand. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh! It smells like... It smells like that stuff you put on seaweed that to make it taste a bit saltier. 
because sometimes seaweed from Chinese restaurants are appearing bland on their own. Wow. So that's what it looks like inside. I hope you can see it with the wine angle. But yeah. Let's give it a go then. Let's have a go. Oh, it feels like uh, carpet fibres. Right. Bombs up. Mmm. Mm. So this is what they're putting on my seaweed. <coughs> my, uh, my, it's actually crispy seaweed, but it's it's like being shredded or I don't know, beef or shredded. I can taste some of the pork. Obviously, it's pork floss, but not much of it. You've got to really grind your tongue to get that flavour. Okay, so it says ingredients: pork. Really, vegetable oil, soya, salt, salt, um, cane sugar. What the hell's cane sugar? I don't even know what cane sugar is. I know sugar. That is very nice. I think I'll finish them at some point. Um, I, but I think if I ever order this again, which I won't be for a long time because this is not cheap. It was like five quid online. This is not cheap. But I'm guessing you get a lot out of it if you was like probably at someone's house or probably at home and you needed uh, to get seaweed but they didn't put any damn stuff on it. This will come in handy. I actually will finish that because I'm very, very trashy myself for eating that sort of shit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm very surprised. I thought it was going to be very porky and juicy, but not much pork in that. But uh, it looks like hairs or something or fibres, doesn't it, on that photo? I, I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Number three, right, Roman? Like me, in a way, be careful out there, Pete, too. I have to stop that. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Jitter's free time here. I recently got this at Boys, and this was definitely a scam from Boys. It's a cassette player. Right there. And all the paint has faded away and all that. It's supposed to be a classical item to replicate these tape walkmans for people that want to use tape still. Now this thing, um, nothing really wrong with it, the belt's knackered on it and the batteries have corroded which is why I'm using a little power thing but unfortunately the belt's knackered so it won't work. But even this, you know, probably would sound better if the belt was chewing or not working right. This is the piece of garbage I'm talking about. Now if you remember rightly I made another video on a cassette Walkman on the retro Walkman thing and it looks exactly like this thing. It's piss in it. I mean you can record your own voice, why? And you've got an FM thing right? Let me tell you something. This thing is way better at playing tapes when it was working and the stereo on it is a lot better. If it wasn't for the belt, I would have kept using that. But I'm sending this fucking thing back, because on eBay you can get a Sony Walkman for dirt cheap. Maybe they're all broken, I don't know. But look at it, it's all nasty plastic. Rubbish fucking thing. And the sound quality sounds like me listening to a recording that I made on an old Sony recorder thing. Number 2 I suck at ASMR. Now due to a copyright problem we cannot show this video but if you want to watch it I will link a card right now if not a link will be below. Number 1 most haunted spoof, this is number 1 because me and the 98 Funnyman thought it was the best one yet. What do you think? We're at uh, most farted, right here, to do some, well, ghost exploring if you will. Now I am going to be the transmitter of this ghost and um, here we go out of cocks out of cocks are you jealous of me bitch
And that was our most haunted video parody, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And now for the best laugh from 2018. <laughs> I'm sorry. One second, people. You're not going to believe this story. <laughs> I know I should be laughing this much because it gives Jacob a lot more editing to do, but fuck. Okay. I'll leave it in. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay. Let me oh, I'll try and keep a straight face. Okay, okay. So much for the damn tripod again, by the way. Well, that is it. You have been watching the best of JJS Free Time 2018. Thanks for all your support for the dark and the light times. We all hope you have a good new year. Bring on 2019.